I am learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? This is a follow-up to the short video I put up uh, yesterday dealing with the New York Comic Con. And in that short video, I was explaining how you can piggyback opportunities when you're going out as a freelancer. And I'll put a link to that video down below if you, if you missed that one. But basically, here's what happened. I go to the New York Comic Con every year with my oldest child. And we have a great time. We have a great time. But I still use that day to make a little extra money. How do I do it? Well, I'll tell you. There's two ways of doing it, and I piggyback them. The one is, I always pick up a few exclusive items at the New York Comic Con. For instance, I have this Funko Pop. I don't understand why they're collectibles, but they're huge collectibles. And you notice, on here it says... New York Comic Con debut. So people stood in line to buy these specifically because they were, they were debuting at the New York Comic Con. I bought one of each of them, brought them home, put them on eBay. Um, right now they're on auction and they're selling for about double what I paid for them. There's also ones called the New York Comic Con exclusive products and those also get a lot of attention on eBay. In fact, I know a woman in New York who goes to the New York Comic Con every year, and literally just goes around and buys up the exclusive products, the debut products, comes home Thursday, puts them up online, and sells them. She doesn't care at all about the convention, at all. So that's one way to you know, make a little bit of money. In fact, there, I also to get a lot of the freebies. Like this is a t-shirt that they give out by Chevrolet. I sell these every year. We get two of them. I sell them for about $15. Uh, again, just a little bit extra cash. Believe it or not, even something like this, which is the ticket to New York Comic Con. It's the actual ticket that I used to get in on Friday. I sell these every year afterwards. Use tickets. Why? Because if you notice, there's a picture of The Walking Dead on it. And this is, says number 13 of 19. So people will actually collect all 19 of these badges. Hey, again, it's only $6.00. I got a free Pokemon card that I'll put up on eBay, pick up a few extra dollars for that. Of course, you know, free comics, free programs. This is kind of interesting. I get a lot of these free, free lanyards, you know, and what I do is I take a bunch of them and I put them up as one lot. And they usually sell for $10, $15 a lot, and I sell them to classrooms for teachers. I say, hey, you know, give this to every kid when you go out on a class trip or something. So that's how I sell those. So what I do is I take all this stuff and I put it on eBay and I sell and I usually make more than my ticket, tickets for going to the Comic-Con. But then what I also do is I also do a review of the Comic-Con. I put it up on a website called Hub Pages, which is a pay-per-click. I don't make a lot of money on it, but it's a little extra. And it's one of those things where you put it up online and it stays there forever. So I've been get, collecting a few pennies a month from articles I've written seven, eight years ago. And I do both of these things together and it basically pays off the whole day that I went with my son. And we have a good time. And it's a nice way of being a freelancer. You hustle a little bit, you know. Now, do you ever do that? Do you ever use an opportunity to do freelance where you, you go with your family or your friends, but you also turn it into a little bit of a money-making Opportunity. I'd love to hear about it because I'm always looking for those because I want to thrive in the gig economy. So please leave some comments below if, if you can give me some advice on how to do that. Like and share this video because that's important for YouTube. And subscribe so you don't miss next week's. Thank you.